everybody welcome back to my channel so today as you can see I have some books here um, specifically baby books and um, today's video is in collaboration with um, Brittany rushing and her um, YouTube not Instagram sorry her YouTube is called rushing love and you guys should totally check her out she does lots of videos like she's very consistent with posting her videos are mom videos cleaning videos things like that um shopping hauls like if she goes to the grocery store just all kind of stuff and she's very consistent with her posting and um her daughter reese is just adorable her family's so sweet i actually knew them from when i was younger and it's just so cool how like she has a channel now and she's really really talented her and her husband are great with videos and all of that i'm just low-key here on my cell phone because yeah but she's really really great so y'all really need to check her out and I'm gonna put her video in the link below and this is just a super sweet book about a mama's love for a baby when you're sad when you're mad you know when you're silly and dancing when you're sick and in bed you know she loves him I love you because you're you Today's video it's our top 10 favorite baby books and her daughter is actually older uh, than my son he just turned five months so we've actually been reading these little books with him because you know when babies are small they can't really um, see color yet so like these books by I'm not sure how to pronounce this so y'all can let me know in the comments but is it like Usborne <laughs> is this like a baby um, company that sells like baby books I think it's Usborn or Usborn or something like that. Osborn, I'm not sure. But anyway, these, um, the little dots help baby see when they're younger. And so um, I think it has, I'm not, sorry, it's like in front of my face. It's something to do with like the primary colors, but um, up until like five months, babies can't like see color and everything. And so my boy just turned five months old. So I'm going to start reading him big boy books, but I've been reading him these like this is all about faces and y'all just the way that they put the dots and the lines and they use the like primary colors. It helps them to see. And so when I would put these in front of his face, he would just stare at them for like like I could keep him so occupied I would just put a book in front of his face and say you know ears cheeks and hold it and he would just stare at it so um yeah but these were really great so I do suggest those they're not part of my top 10 I'm going to share my top 10 books I'm most excited to start reading to him but I just wanted to show you guys these if you've never heard of them and you have a newborn or a kid like under five months old but yeah it comes with four of them my mom had bought these for Theodore and I think they were great and he loved them so let's get on with the thing <laughs> um okay so number 10 it's I just thought it's cute it made it on my top 10 because it's just adorable Tia takes a bath um it's just adorable they have the little eyes on it I just thought it was so cute it's a super short book like not many pages at all but I just kind of like the little googly eyes on it and I just thought he would get a kick out of that especially when he gets older um he doesn't have that many books there's maybe like five more in here but these were the ones I'm most excited about the next one is another one just because it's got the texture and I think he'll really love that and owls are just adorable but it's who loves you and it's one of the, um, it's just this classic, yes, classic book. So I thought that was really cool. And there's a bunch on the back that you can also collect. So I thought that was adorable. So that would be number nine. And then number eight would be just this classic because he needs to know this Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Like that's a classic. All of our kids need to know that story. We got to keep it going. So that's why I picked that one. And I'm trying to go fast here. I'm not sure how much storage is left on my phone. So I'm just trying to go really fast. And then we have Good Night Moon for number seven. Good Night Moon. It's also a classic. I feel like I got this book like three times during our baby showers. Because like it's just a classic and everyone was getting it for me. So Good Night Moon definitely. Um, yeah just really adorable. I think he's going to love that. A classic okay 
Okay, I think this is number six. Five, four, three, two, one. And yeah, number six. Um, of course, sorry guys, I have a little cold. But number six is Are You My Mother? Because there's Dr. Seuss books and my boy needs to know Dr. Seuss. So I picked this one for number six, the Are You My Mother? And then number five is the Seuss-isms because of Dr. Seuss. Um, it says a guide to life for those just starting out and those already on their way. And so I'm excited for him. I hope he loves Dr. Seuss because I remember like um, in lower elementary, they used to have like that Dr. Seuss day or whatever. And that was the best day ever. Like all the kids love Dr. Seuss day. So I'm excited about that. And then number four would be this brand again. Do you guys know how to say this? Is it Usborne? I don't know. Tell me. <laughs> but it's the um, Illustrated Alphabet. And I really am so excited about this because it's such like good quality books. That brand, like I don't sell it. So I'm not, you know, trying to make you buy that brand. But it's just really nice. Like the texture of this is kind of soft and very like, I don't know, like not velvety, but... It's those nice hardcover soft book, if you know what I'm saying. But it's the illustrated alphabet. So it's gonna teach him his alphabet and they have pictures, ooh, pictures and stuff to go along with it. See, A is for alpaca. And then they have this page over here and it's just so beautiful. I think just the pages are beautiful. It says, it was a bad day for the animals at Alphabet Zoo. And it began when the alpacas ate all the apples. So, you know, it uses the A a lot. And you know, this page shows the animal and let's see what B is. B is for baboon. And then it tells a little, you know, a little sentence using baboon and it kind of showcases, you know, using baboon in like other B words. So it also uses big box, bananas, buns, bin and bench. So, you know, it kind of just uses the letter B, of course. I don't need to explain this to you, but I just think it's such a beautiful book. So I'm really excited about that one. Okay, and so number three. This one is awesome. This is my number three because it's Tiny, the Louisiana Easter Bunny. And look, in the background there, you can um, see New Orleans behind you. You can see like the little statue. Well, actually, I don't think that's there anymore. And, um the cathedral in the background and so like if you've ever been to new orleans you know that those are very like iconic things so that's very cool and i just thought that was so unique and you know we're living in georgia now so i just want him to know all about louisiana and this is just special to me so i'm excited about this and then uh, my second book that i'm most excited about is just adam and eve you know i'm just really excited to be able to just teach him Bible stories, even from this like young age. Um, you know, we have to start talking to them, teaching them things. And I feel like, I don't know, like he hears me and he's gonna learn. Like we can't just um, think like, oh, they're not old enough yet. But I'm just excited to just put this in his mind and let him start learning about Adam and Eve. And then the number one, of course, would be the baby's first Bible. And my grandma, she actually got this for him. And it has a little handle so he can take it with him. But I'm excited even now, like I said, just to start, you know, reading this hymn. And it has these beautiful, like, cutouts and stuff. So I'm so excited about that. We have to teach him early, you know, and raise him up to um, just know the Lord from young. And so I just pray that Theodore would just, you know, come to, like, that knowledge of Jesus not only in his heart but to also um, I mean not only in his mind but to know him in his heart as well that is just my one thing that I just pray is that he um, would come to know Jesus and so I can't wait to read this to him and for him to carry it to church but I actually hear the monitor and I'm done anyway so thank you guys so much um, for watching um, like this video if you like it and subscribe if you want to and don't forget to check out Brittany's video it's gonna be in the description below but yeah thanks again for watching and I will see you guys later bye hey and for those of you who are new to my channel I just wanted to show you guys baby man <laughs> say hey Theodore Say hey. <laughs> He's always in a trance by the phone. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. And I will see y'all next time. Bye.